Hey folks, it's Dumpy. I have been looking forward to doing this. I have not done a taste test video in, oh, like two whole weeks. So, I'm sorry. But I've really been looking forward to this ever since I saw what flavors they're doing this year. So, you know, uh, Lay's does this thing every year, this do us a flavor thing, and people suggest flavors for potato chips, and some of them get actually made into potato chips and put out on the market for us uh, guinea pigs to try out. I'm still waiting for the nun pizza with left beef ones to show up, <laughs> but yeah. Uh, last year they had like wasabi ginger and chicken and waffles and the, the cappuccino that I was not brave enough to try. This year, and I'm finally gotten a hold of some of them, they have uh, southern biscuits and gravy. I'm going to put these aside. They have uh, Greek Town Gyro. They have uh, uh, West Coast Truffle Fries. And I'm running out of room here. <laughs> and um, New York Reuben. Uh, we're going to save this one for last, and I'll tell you why when we get to it. Um, the short version TLDR is that it's going to be most likely the most entertaining one. I'm just going to throw that over there for now. I'll pick it up, okay? I've, I've been on a cleaning bender lately. So, um, just a little disclaimer before we get started. I am not being compensated in any way for this. I bought these with my own money. Frito-Lay is not paying me. They're not giving me free crap. They're not, they don't even know I'm making this video. They may not want anything to do with this video, depending on what my reaction to these is going to be, particularly that last one. And again, I'll let you know what's up with that when I get to it. But um, yeah, I'm, this is just, just average scrub doing a video, not being compensated in any way. No shorty, no. <laughs> <laughs> you don't want this. Okay, so um, I think um, I'm going to start with the biscuits and gravy. Let me get the, the palate cleanser here. This is water, by the way. I um, also have, if necessary, the super palate cleanser. Um, also water. Yeah, I'm, I'm sure some percentage of it is water. Um, okay, so my mom has actually tried the biscuits and gravy submitted by Haley Green. My mom has tried the biscuits and gravy, and her exact reaction, and I quote verbatim, was meh. Uh, so <laughs> she said she didn't really taste biscuits and gravy, and it said they weren't bad. But um, let me get that. Go ahead and open them up here. Yeah, these are brand new virgin unopened bags. I have not even stuck my nose in any of these, haven't tasted them, haven't smelled them, nothing. So all the reactions are going to be legit stuff here. Smells like plain old potato chips to me, honestly. Hmm. Okay, I'm, I'm definitely getting sausage in there. That's what she said. Um, no, I can, I can definitely taste sausage. Um, gravy, not so much, uh, really. Not, not really creamy gravy type, but... I, I think these are a little bit better than meh, honestly. Um, I would eat these. Or, I think they're good. They got a little bit of zing to them. So, I'll put those aside. Okay. Get the, the palate cleanser. Okay. Let's move on to the uh, West Coast Truffle Fries, submitted by Angie Food. Um, I have never tried a truffle fry. Uh, I have no idea what truffle fries are supposed to taste like. I don't think I've ever actually even had a truffle. No, not, not like the chocolate truffle, the mushroom truffle. At least I hope that's what this is. Okay. Yeah, there, there's something mushroomy smelling in there. That's, uh... You know, that, that's good. It's not an overpoweringly mushroomy taste. But, uh... Hmm. Hmm. 
Okay. I like these. Um, I couldn't tell you whether or not they actually taste like truffles, because again, I don't know what the hell a truffle tastes like. Um, I will I will tell you, uh, if you have some kind of a sensory issue where, there's a thing floating around here, where flavors that you're not familiar with bother you, even if they're good, this one might get you. Um, this is one of those things where you, you're going to eat it and it's going to taste good, but you don't know what the hell it tastes like. And you're going to be sitting there at one in the morning going, what is it? Well, it's a truffle, obviously. <laughs> but yeah, um, it, it tastes good, but it's not really identifiable as if you don't know what a truffle tastes like. I don't know what a truffle tastes like. I'm going to eat another one because they are really good. Oh. Of garlic in there too, I think. Pretty good. Okay. Get down. Mm -hmm. Okay, uh, moving on. The Greek Town Hero submitted by James Wagner. So I'm in the process of, this is an extremely long story, uh, again TLDR, in the process of after about 20 or so odd years getting my driver's license back so I can get a car again, so I can you know, go places that are outside of bicycle range again. And one thing that I have really missed, uh, there is like nowhere to get a Euro around here. You have to go actually into Houston pretty much to get one. So um, that's, that's something I'm really looking forward to. Out of all the things that I could be doing with a motorized vehicle, I'm looking forward to a friggin' Euro. Uh, <laughs> looking forward to going to Nico Nico's. But, um, there used to be a place in the mall that was close to the Circuit City I worked at that had a pretty decent one and then they shut down or else I quit that job and didn't get over in that neck of the woods anymore or for whatever reason. I wasn't getting them anymore. But uh, Oh, that smells good. Hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay. It actually does taste like a gyro. It, it, it really, it really does. Because I can kind of taste the cucumbers. I can kind of taste the yogurt. Kind of taste the meat. Uh, it's, it's actually really good. And uh, pretty accurate. So, uh, and these are the kettle cooked ones. These are, these are the really, really crunchy ones. So you're probably getting all kinds of horrible noises here. You know, I don't care. Look how much I don't care. Oh. <laughs> okay. Put these away. All right. And that leaves. The New York Reuben submitted by Jeff Zelensky. All right, let me tell you what my beef with Reuben's is. Uh, beef, Reuben, corn, beef, yeah. Uh, it's the sauerkraut that I have issues with. Um, when I was a kid, my grandmother had cancer and the chemo pretty much destroyed her sense of taste for a while. Fortunately, she did find something that she could taste that she would eat lots of, and that was sauerkraut. Um, but she would heat it up in a saucepan on the stove and gas me out of the house. I think I spent most of that summer outside. Uh, me and I, I'm pretty sure my great-grandmother both actually were frequently being chased out onto the back patio by the the uh, fumigation of hot sauerkraut in the house. But, uh, but uh, yeah, um, fortunately that, that only lasted a couple of months and she got her sense of taste back and she was fine after that. But, um, yeah, uh, I, I have no problem with corned beef. I almost said beef again. I have no problem with rye. It's just, it's the sauerkraut. And I'm, I'm afraid that I'm going to stick my nose in this bag and it's going to punch me in the face. But... Yeah. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, God, that's a lot of sauerkraut smell coming out of that bag. Um, that's, that's overpowering. But, uh, you, you signed up to watch this. You signed up to watch me eat this, so um, I'm gonna eat this. <laughs> Lime. Mm. 
Mm -mm. No, no, no. Oh God. Uh, so um, a Reuben's supposed to have like some kind of, yeah, it looks like a pepperoncinis or some crap. I don't know. All I know is that I've got sauerkraut taste up in my sinuses. I, I, I can't really taste the rye or the corned beef. I, I, Thousand Island? Is it Thousand Island? or No, it's the Russian dressing, isn't it? What the hell is in Russian dressing? Is it is it beets? Is it is it like a cold borscht or some... I, in fact, yeah, I'm gonna, of course, what am I going to do? I'm going to reach in there and I'm going to get another one. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, because I'm going to try to describe exactly what this tastes like. Mm. Definitely some kind of a pepper in there. And not like a black pepper like you would expect to find in corned beef. No, it's... It's... It's pepperoncini like pepper. But, um... Okay, maybe... Maybe a little bit of corned beef. Maybe a little bit of rye. But, no, mostly it's just... Okay, if I don't have the bag right under my nose, the sauerkraut is not quite so bad. But, uh, be glad this is not smell-o-vision, because Mama said knock you out. Uh, this is, I uh, just this cloud of, of horseradish, or not horseradish, horseradish would be fine. Um, sauerkraut. And yeah, it, it, it is kind of lingering in my taste buds. Um, Not quite bad enough for the super palate cleanser. It's not like the the pizza lollipop or anything. So, um, the clear winner, I think. The Euro is getting my vote. Um, with the truffle fries, uh, well, actually, I'm going to say the sausage and biscuits. Biscuits and gravy. Sausage and biscuits and gravy and biscuits and kibbles and biscuits. Um, the biscuits and gravy second very close um, between second and third with the truffle fries and the biscuits and gravy. These, you go stand in the corner with the cappuccino, okay? Uh, if you like Rubens, I uh, know my stepmom loves Rubens, sure, try it. Um, otherwise, you're gonna get sauerkrauted to death. So, that's, uh, <laughs> that's our Do Us A Flavor taste test for the year. I'm gonna put these aside. I'm gonna be munching on these all week now. Let's see, um, if you haven't been paying attention, I do have a new channel. There is a link down in the description of the video to the new channel. That's where all the new Let's Plays are going to be going as I wrap them up on this channel. This channel is going to be for vlog stuff and stuff. I don't, I don't know. But um, it's not going away. The stuff on it is staying. I think my cat's thinking about getting up here. It's just all the gaming stuff is going to be moved over to the Beefnopolis Art and Gaming channel. Also, the all the uh, art videos are going to be... Okay, alright, see you later. All the art videos are going to be uploaded there. I have a new piece on that channel, the, uh, the Harvest Queen that I've got a process video of. It's up on Redbubble if you want to print or some crap like that. And that's it for today, folks. Um, I will be back with more vloggy stuff and possibly more taste tests later on. Thank you for watching. Thank you for watching me torture my taste buds for you. And have a good week. Bye-bye.